Now when you create a database, you need a place to save it in. And I'm going to save all my databases in my folder here called the exercises. You can call it whatever you want on your desktop, but let me introduce you to it. Double click, open it up. I've already got two databases in here, inventory and books. Now I can tell that they're databases because first if you look at the icon, you can see a little access key. That's Access 2007. I also have PowerPoint and an Excel workbook. You can change the views here so you can see them by clicking on the views arrow going up to large icons and well you can see the access keys here and there's my PowerPoint and also my Excel workbook. I'm going to change the views and go back down to list. Also you can see the little extensions or what they're called extensions here next to the name that, that I gave these databases. New to 2007 is the extension ACCDB. Think of ACC as access and DB for database. Unlike the previous versions of Access 2003 XP, they had MDB. Now, if you can't see your extensions here, that's probably because your computer it doesn't have them turned on. It doesn't mean that they're not working, it just means that you can't see them. The reason behind that is, is if I come up here and say, look, I want to rename my database. I don't want it to be books. I can right click on it, right? Come down here and left click on rename and notice how it just selects books. It doesn't select the extension. Now, what's the extension? The extension is what tells the computer what program to open this file up in. This file is access. It's saying to open it up using the Access Database Program or Access 2007. If I come back here and I accidentally delete that, delete all of it, and type over it, including the extension and hit enter, it's going to say, look, I don't know what you're trying to open this program up in, but if you change the extension, it may be unusable. Well, of course it will be, because then if I go ahead and click yes, it gives me a little blank file here. It says, look, I don't know what program is supposed to open me up because you deleted my extension. That's the whole purpose of computers coming out these days that don't have it automatically turned on, so you can actually delete or rename the extension here. So I'm going to right click, go back to rename, and call it books.accdb and hit enter. And it automatically turns back to access. Now that doesn't mean that I can't go ahead and rename Excel and, and give it the extension ACCDB because it'll automatically turn into Access as well. But the problem is is that it's a different file format. So when I try to open it up in Excel and say, look, you're no longer Excel, you are actually Access. When you try to open it up, it may have fits and not open up correctly. In any case, I don't want to try it. But the whole point being is that if you don't see these extensions, is because they're turned off to prevent you from deleting them or renaming them so the computer doesn't know what program to open these files up in. If you want to learn a little bit more about them, I suggest you watch my training video on Windows Vista Level 1. It covers these extensions, how to turn them on, turn them off, and so forth. So here's my folder where my exercises are going to be held. But for right now, I'm going to go ahead and just open up Microsoft Access itself, not any of my databases, to show you both ways. I'm going to go ahead and double click on the Microsoft Access shortcut. When you open it up, first up at the top you have your Office logo button. When you click on it, it's just like a menu button. When you can create new databases, open up existing databases, and also managing those databases. I'm going to click off in a blank area to close it. Acrobat, if you purchase Adobe's Acrobat, their professional version, I think even their standard version, they're going to have an add-in here. I have the add-in, you may not have it, where you can go ahead and create PDF files from your databases and so forth. So if you don't have it, it may be because you don't have Acrobat, um, one of the standard or professional versions installed. But what you will see is divided into three sections. You have the left section, the middle section, and the right section. The left section is just saying, look, do you want some templates that are located on your local computer or do you want them from online? In other words, when you're creating a database from scratch, do you want to have Access create a database for you, like you can see here in the middle section, some of the featured online templates, saying that you want something with asset tags. Asset tags are those little barcodes so you can keep track of inventory. Or do you have a database about contacts and you keep track of your contacts, employees, customers, or events? In fact, you can scroll down here and choose from a list of a few databases there. And the databases are built fairly well. Otherwise, we're going to be starting ours from scratch. And of course, when I scroll back up, you also have a blank database. So not only can you create a blank database here by clicking on the button, but you can do it from the Office logo button. Click on New as well. Click off in a blank area over to the right-hand side here. You have a list of the databases I've recently opened or used. So I can always come back here and click on one, and it'll automatically open up. Or you can click on the More button, which will browse your computer for a database, like in my Exercise folder that I just showed you. I've got two databases in there we can search for. So let's do that. I'm going to go ahead and click More. It opens up my window here. And you want to be careful where you're looking. I mean, I'm looking in a folder where I downloaded some databases, but I'm not going to use those. Remember, mine's located on the desktop. It's in the Exercise folder that I double-clicked, and it's just showing me, even though I have more files in my Exercise folder, it's only showing me, as you can see here, the Microsoft Access database. Okay. 
So what I want to do is we'll open up books. I'll double click on that and it opens up my database. Let's quickly go over the views here in the database and then we'll get started and learn how to customize in the next training video the environment here. And then after that we'll actually view some of the objects within the database. Speaking of which, we have the list of objects over here. The database is all dependent upon these objects like we talked about in the first video. The foundation of any database is going to be your spreadsheets or what they call tables in Access. That's where you have a spreadsheet where you can go ahead and enter the data in and when you enter the data you can have queries where you can query the data and say look I just want to pull out some of my customers who earn more than 50,000 so that's a query. Then you have forms and forms are just basically a table with a facelift. In other words it's actually a link. When you type something in a form it'll actually update one of the tables like let's say I created a form for books. If I have a bunch of books that I'm selling or that we're keeping track of in this form I can go ahead and lay out the table in a nicer format so when I type in information or update the books it'll actually update the back end or the table here where we call this the front end form where it's, it's a nice facelift something visually nice for the users where we can control their flow of how they're going to enter in the data which will of course be stored in the table here and then we have reports and reports just mean that hey look I want to be able to take some of the information out of these tables and create a printable format where I can go ahead and hand it off to my boss or to some potential clients and so forth from the information that I gathered either from a query or just directly from the table itself now when it comes to these objects you can click on the drop down arrow here and just say look I don't want to see all my objects I just want to see the tables when you click on it you just view the tables you can click on the drop down arrow say look I just want to see the queries you can click on the drop down arrow and I say all access objects I want to see all of them I want to see my tables my queries of course you can imagine how overwhelming this could be if you've got like 30 queries 50 forms I mean you got a huge database I mean it'll take forever to scroll through if you're just working on tables then you can use the drop down arrow and come under here and say filter by group under this group say I just want to see my tables and then click off in a blank area over on the right screen here in the middle section is when you actually double click and open up a table it'll be shown here where you can make changes add records delete records add new fields and if you can't see everything in it because the records are maybe too long or the columns are too far you can always click on this little collapsible shutter bar where it collapses called the navigation pane and you can click on it to expand it back open as well now starting up at the top we have the office logo again it's like the menu where you can click on create new databases open the database save the database as even including a previous version back in 2002 or 2003 database. You can do some print options here, you can manage the database, and we'll cover most of these later on in level one. I'm going to go ahead and click off in a blank area. And then just to the right of that, they have what's new to 2007. It's called the Quick Access Toolbar. It's basically the only toolbar that you can customize in Access, where you can, obviously, you can see here, when you hover over it, it says Save. There's a Save button, so when I actually have things I'm working on, I can click on the Save button. And then also you have the undo. If you make a mistake, you can undo and then redo whatever you undid that you didn't want to undo at the time. And you can customize that and also add other icons that can perform different features like closing the database. I mean, sure, you can click on the office logo, come down here and close the database. The purpose of closing the database is to actually close the database without closing the actual Microsoft Access program. What that means is it just closes this pane or the database that's in this pane and leaves the program open. Okay. And then we have what's called the ribbon. It's new to 2007. For example, like the home tab, we have what are called groups. Yeah, the view group, clipboard group, and some of these groups actually have little expandable dialog box buttons. All that means is that in this group, there's more to it than meets the eye. Sure, you can cut, copy. When I hover over, it says copy. You can expand that, and then opens up a little task pane here. Sometimes it opens up a little task pane. Sometimes it opens up a window. Okay, just means that there's more to uh, this group than meets the eye. So I'm going to go ahead and close out of that task pane continue along the font group other groups here go to the create tab this is where you can create your tables your forms your reports and anything else that we'll cover later including uh, some queries and basically you're covering the objects I mean there's tables to tables when you create a table this is where it's going to show up you create forms it's going to you know show up down here that's if you have all access objects being shown of course and then your reports and then your queries you have external data you can either import from like Microsoft Excel or access other databases you can export to Excel or other databases in different types of formats they have database tools which will talk about relationships how to analyze a table and so on 